Number 51. Suppose you measure the terminal voltage of a 3.2 volt lithium cell having an internal resistance of 5 ohms by placing a 1 kilo ohm voltmeter across its terminals. Letter A. What current flows? All right, so take a look at number 50. There was a diagram and all. This problem is identical to number 50, just the numbers are going to change. All right, so I'm basically going to just use the formulas, plug in the values as, as we did in number 50. All right, so we'd have to use loop rule here that the sum of all the potential rises minus then the sum of all the potential falls would be equal to zero. All right, there's going to be two falls and one rise. The battery, the EMF of the battery provides the rise, 3.2 minus then the sum of all the falls. So there's two resistances in the problem, the one kilo ohm resistance, right? But we knew, you know that we need that in ohms, so one times 10 to the three ohms, multiplied by the unknown current I, plus then the internal resistance of 5.00, right? And then multiplied by that unknown current I. So essentially this equals zero. This then works out to be 3.200 minus then you can combine those like terms. So that would be 1005. Okay, times I. And then all we simply have to do now, you can get rid of these parentheses and whatnot. You can just add this term on over to the uh, right-hand side. So this will be 3.2 is equal to, I'm dropping all the zeros because quite honestly, it doesn't, doesn't do anything for the calculation. Divide out then the uh, 1,005 from both sides, 3.2 times 1,005. And this comes out to be now 3.18 times 10 to the minus three, it looks like. And that's in amps, okay? So that takes care of that. That's letter A, that's the current. Now it's asking to then for us to find the terminal voltage. All right, so what we need to now do is use that terminal voltage formula, okay? So the terminal voltage formula is simply uh, VT is gonna be equal to the battery's EMF. VT, by the way, is the terminal voltage, EMF minus then the current that flows multiplied by its internal resistance. So the battery's EMF, it was stated it was 3.2, zero, zero, minus then the current of 3.18 times 10 to the minus third now, multiplied by that internal resistance of five, and let's see what we get, okay? So we get 3.2 minus then that answer, 3.18 times 10 to the minus three, I'm using the exact values in the calculator. So when I do this, we get now a value of 3.184. I guess that's probably appropriate with sig figs and whatnot, but I'm not really thinking about that at the moment. Um, and that takes care of letter B and then letter C as to how see how close you're to calculate the ratio. So here's the terminal now. This was 3.184. The total battery EMF was 3.2. So we're going to see now what the ratio is. Use that exact value of the calculator, 3.18407962. Divide that then by 3.2. And we're going to get a ratio of about 0.995-ish, right? So as you can see, even with a 5 ohm internal resistance, you know, the battery's terminal voltage is 99.5% of the total EMF that's supplied. So, you know, if you went back to the prior problem and you saw that the resistance, the internal resistance was much smaller, much smaller, the in reality, uh, the total battery's EMF it doesn't change appreciably, right? 99.5% versus 99.99%. I mean, you know. Would you care about which value you got on the test? They're both the same to me, right? Because they round up to 100. Cool. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I will see you soon. All right, take care.